I hate to be like kind of a jerk, but I'm having a terrible day so <laughs> And I need to do these challenges and I barely have time left and I don't play Survivor and I feel like they're always trolling me and it's like I'm barely trying. I'm, be I'm dredged, dude, I could be teleporting. Like, I don't know what I'm thinking. It just seems like it takes too long. Cause I keep finding them, so there's no reason to teleport. Oh my God. Say no to Ada, especially because she just ruined my life, literally. I just got into a fight with my friend over Ada. <laughs> so now we're fighting over... It's so fucking stupid. It's just an issue she has, I guess. So it's not stupid, but it's like she'll literally disown you over a random Ada. So... When I saw Ada, I got pissed. But yeah, so... I don't know. I don't know why I'm hitting them on the hook. I'm just trying to be funny, I guess, since they do that to me. But it does silence the screen if you do it, like, quick, so... There's kind of a point. But no, I'm just trying to get the hook, so I'm not really trying to be mean. If they escape, I will, will be happy, because I feel kind of mean. But like this guy... 
He kept trying to go. I hate when they go back and forth with the pallets. Oh, that was a good save. But see, that shouldn't even happen. But see, then they'll teabag me like I wasn't trying to be friendly. For the most part. Someone's probably at the gate. Like, I know they're distracting me, you know, but... I'm just trying to get the hooks. Should have just swung. Try not to lose them. Oh, that bitch. Yeah, that's what you get. Since you wanted to be a superhero. I'm just trying to get hooked. Oh, I have no way. I don't know if they cleanse it. Fucking... Yeah, I was gonna say, Nicholas Cage is probably right here. That's okay, though. Like I said, if they escape, I'm not, like, sad. I want them to escape, because killers are so fucking mean lately, but... I'm just in a kind of, like, weird mood, so I'm okay playing normal. But this is lame. I should not be camping. I'm sorry, girl. I'm looking. Trying to make sure they're not like standing right there about to run out and then let her die. They're probably at the other one. All I know is they better go get her ass. What are you doing? I'm killing him. He obviously wasn't gonna go help her and she saved him. Is that? That's what you get. Oh, I feel bad for her, though. I'm gonna report the other two. Because, <laughs> wow, well, you just gonna leave her. I was all the way over here. Oh, maybe they went out the other gate. But, like, there was two people standing there when Nick went down. <laughs> so, I don't know what happened. But, see, I would have wanted to kill the other two people. Out of, you know, like, I hate when it, the people who die end up being the people I like more. Because I thought they were funny. <laughs> and at least she helped him. Because you see, he was going to die sooner. And then she helped him. I was thinking he didn't even have two hooks yet. So I was going to hook him again. But now I see he's dead. But that's what he gets for not helping her after she helped him. But I feel bad that uh, Ellen died. Because, I mean, she was trying to open the gate. But I think she was going to go back. You know, but she already went out of her way to save him. Like, she didn't have to do that. Because it was so... Like, that save was so last second. Like, it must have been because I'm dredged and he has, like, his eyes on the side of his face, kind of. Like... Because I don't know how that works. Whenever they do that, try to do that to the killer and I'm being carried, it does not work. But yeah, I feel bad for the other two. That's lame. But yeah, I feel terrible, um, for those two people. I'm mad that the other ones got away, but like I said, like, if all four had gotten away, that would have been fine with me. I was just trying to get the hooks. But it's just like, you know, especially towards the end, like, I think some killers freak out, so then it was like, once I just seen her, and I know that's not the right way to say it, because I was chasing Nick, right? So I lost Nick, because he's doing the fucking most. And then, as I'm chasing him, I hear 
beep beep like the thing's about to freaking open the gate and so she's standing over there opening it while i'm chasing him so she was going to try to run out probably so even the fact that i just found her saw her hit her <laughs> before she actually opened it was crazy because she was like three seconds from opening it and i'm like whoever was by nick i guess must have booked it out but i don't know which if they went you know where she was or if they went the other way because if they went the other way then yeah they probably couldn't have helped her but like with me being in the middle with nick i'm not understanding why someone didn't go over there to grab ellen before she died because then they could just run out the exit right there and i'm not even over there and there's no lockers over there actually surprisingly so like in that whole outside area so i mean there would be no way to get to them that quickly, you know, they all could have escaped. I guess not Nick, you know, but... But then you see, then after I hooked her, when I was chasing him, I just got lucky. And then, so then I come back over here looking for them, because I'm wondering, okay, why are they not helping her? And then Nick's dumbass is standing in the middle of the... of RPD, like, bro. With the heck still active, so... I feel bad. I forgot I had that, but boom, <laughs> you're dead. That's why you should go help her. I feel like you might as well help when you have the chance. This is funny though, because I'm not usually killer, so I'm like looking at my perks, but like we can already look at my perks in the lobby. I didn't really look at what else I had though. I only looked at these. You know, everyone kind of has the same stuff. Scavenger, stake out, boil over flip-flop unbreakable built to last made for this adrenaline sprint burst oh my god they had kindred so they probably saw me <laughs> that's funny yeah that's why when you're a camping killer <laughs> it's kind of stupid because they can see you half the time at least with one of my friends well uh, I guess now I'm not gonna play with her as much, but she would always bring kindred, so at least with her, I always know that we'll be able to see the killer if he's camping. And sometimes that's the only way, because they'll be camping, but they don't know that you have kindred, so they're thinking that you can't see them. So that, you know, when you go to help the person They'll surprise you, but they don't really surprise you if you have kindred. But sometimes you still can't help them. It just gives you a way to plan. I do feel bad, though. <laughs> for this. But I finished my challenge. Oh, man. Yeah, it's just one of those days. I don't know how long I can play. But I felt like playing killer.
Yeah, and that's kind of crazy, because last game I had ultimate weapon, and I didn't even use it. And I had a sacrificial knife, which apparently would block all the vault exits when searching a locker or something. But I didn't even search. I don't think I searched one locker. Like, bruh, I forgot I had the... <laughs> so that probably would have helped me find them sooner. Like, maybe I could have got the other two instead of them, but that's okay. That's just how you know I don't play killer much. I'm pretty good though when I want to be. I think right now I'm going to play a little normal, but normally I'm friendly. But today I'm not really being friendly, if I'm honest. I mean, it kind of breaks my heart, but I'm trying to finish these challenges, and I'm not in the best mood to, like, you know, keep trying to do them, so. I'm not playing about the challenges. I don't care if they get away, don't get away, whatever. I mean, I care more if they don't get away because I feel bad, but, like, if they do get away, that's, that's good, you know, because as long as they do my challenge, I do not care. I can do Adept, you know, another time, even though I still don't have the Adept for him. So I'm gonna, you know, play the perks and stuff for it, but, you know, I don't expect to really get it. It's kind of like if they want me to get it, but if they don't want to let you get it, I know our team will, at least with worries and stuff, like, once we know he has it, like, someone will <laughs> die on the hook so he can't get all of them. Not usually me, but you know, I do like when they do that just because the killer's gonna be lame like that, you might as well. The blight serum, though, like, it says it has different effects for different killers, so I almost wanna try it for like every killer, but I don't know if we'll have time to do all that. Because I wanted to play Survivor, and my friend got kicked. Like, it put him back in the lobby so then I backed out for him but the other two didn't even see that he had backed out you know so then I was like okay I'm gonna go play killer again and I'll come back because it's just like too complicated when I don't even have challenges I can find on there that I can do and a max rank and you know I still have challenges to do from this tome might as well do them you know
I figured they would help each other, so I'm glad they did. I feel bad for Nicholas. I just wanted to scare them since they didn't help him. Because fucking Quentin was just standing there while that was happening. Like, he could have at least said no or, like, tried to run over and do something, but he was just standing there. And then even when I was hitting him, he wasn't reacting. Like, he must have thought that he was opening the fucking thing. But yeah, I thought they were all kind of lame, except Nicholas, and so I feel bad for him. But I'm happy they got away. I thought I would maybe be able to get Quentin, and I would have been okay with that. It was a stupid blight rush. Because it got me over there fast, and the pallet. Because I was trying to hit somebody, but not be unfair, and then she was, like, letting him get hit, and then he was body blocking the pallet, and then... But then they threw it down, which was good because I thought it said three, damage three pallets for some reason. So I was like, oh, that's no big deal. But then I didn't, like, once I got the seventh one, I was like, oh, shit, I still need one more. And I was like, no, if they run out, like, I'm going to need one more. So I was, like, trying to do something to, like, get them to throw the pallet down. Like, I need to find a pallet or a gen or something. But well, there's no gens, right? So it's like... I was waiting, waiting, waiting. I was like, I hope they find a pallet or do something. Like, I was trying to get them to interact with stuff. 
So I'm so glad that even though Super Quinn got away, he threw the pallet down because, you know, then it gave me another pallet to destroy. So I think just saying like if you wanted to get the kills, I think you could have definitely got them, but you you wouldn't have wanted to break the pallet. I think maybe if you went around the pallet, you might have got another second or two. But for me, I wanted to do it. So just know that I was okay with it. <laughs> but it is you kind of have to make a choice between like the pallet or the person normally. And so you see that the pallet can cost you, which is why I think killers will run around the pallet so much, but it's just so annoying when you're being tunneled or something and like you keep going around the pallet and then they won't like break it. But like now that I'm playing killer again, I understand because it really loses. Even you see with the blight serum, which makes you go super fast. I mean, I still wasn't able to catch up. And then yes, I tried to hit him still, but you know, I knew it wouldn't hit because he was already so far. But, I don't know, I thought it was kind of funny. Because I totally could have killed them all. But I feel so bad for Nick. I didn't really actually want to marry him, but... Then, like, he was down there, and I was looking at him, and then it said kill, and... <laughs> like, okay, I'm probably not going to get the rest of them, you know, so... I might as well, but I feel bad. Because I think he was trying to do plot twists, so, you know, to be funny. But the thing is, I didn't actually know that someone else was in there. I just assumed because of how hard they were trying to open the gate. So then, <laughs> you know, I just punched the the little bush and then he came out of it. Like, I didn't actually know that he was in there. So, like, I, you know, I did mori him, but I don't think I would have hit him in the first place like if I knew that that was him I would have just left him but so I mean I guess I could have just left him on you know on the ground maybe that would have been better like if you're trying to get them all because you know they'll come help but they won't always help that's the thing I was assuming that's why it was weird for me that they were trying so hard to open that gate because why wouldn't you just go to the other gate at that point because I had never even thought of looking at the other gate because they're all right here you know and they almost all died next to the gate. You know, like, <laughs> that's just dumb. If I was Kate or whoever, I would have ran to the other side of the map, you know, by then. And I think it's funny, too, because when Kate was in the void with me, I don't know how she got away because I, like, punched her and she was still there. But then she was gone. I think it was just me lagging. But, like... I don't know if it should have happened like that. Like, I think it actually should have hit her. But I think it was just my internet. So she got away, you know? And then Adam, I hit as he was going through the void. So he went out of it, but he was still injured when he came out. When he went into it, he was healed, you know? So that was kind of interesting to me. It must have just been my internet. But they were kind of funny. I'm going to add Nicholas, I think, because I feel so bad for him. Quentin didn't even have perks. I guess that's why he was being weird. I really don't mind letting people escape at this point. Because I know when I play Survivor, sometimes it's so stressful that... Like, I'm still having fun, but, like, trying to win is so stressful that... You know, sometimes I just think, like, please let us get a nice killer. And then there'll be, like, the randomest times where, like... Because you know how I try to get the killer to be friendly, but sometimes the killer will be friendly before I even get them to be friendly. 
And then I'm like, why are you so nice? Like, because they'll just be nice for no reason. And I love it, you know. So I try to be like that most of the time, even when they're kind of annoying. Just because they might be new, or they might be thinking they're funny, or they might be trying to impress you. I don't know what, you know, people have different ideas of things, but... But, yeah, I try to be friendly as much as I can. Like, obviously, I could have got adept if I wanted to. But I don't really care that much about it. Like, if it happens, you know, like, like if everyone's being friendly and I'll stay and, you know, get killed by the end game or something. Which, I don't know if it would give you adept. I think you... Before it wouldn't if you didn't play well enough, but I guess now it might which is why I think killers are so lame sometimes Because they just want a slug to get you know the the adept But I don't think it should reward them the adept if all they did was slug, you know But I think it does now so I'm just saying like technically I think you could get adept by doing that But I don't like to do that So like, I'm only playing killer right now to do these challenges. But, you know, any other time outside of the event, you would, you could definitely do different things for the adept. But, yeah, I'm not worried about that right now. Crap! Let's see, I keep doing that. I'm, I try not to do that when I have blood points. Max blood points. Okay, I think I'm gonna save this for last because I did hook six survivors already. That was the first one I did today. I feel like I was pretty mean. But I don't know, it's just it's just one of those days. Like I'm still friendly I think overall, but like probably more than most killers. <laughs> but not as friendly as I would normally be. So it makes me feel bad. But I don't think I could do the challenges without being a little sweaty. Because they do the gen so fast if you're not pressuring them that... You know, you can like, one, like, literally, like, the last game, it's like, I have to do everything kind of at the end because they're trying to leave. And I'm like, wait, I need to finish my challenge, you know? Which I got to do, thankfully, so. They can have the win. I'll give it to them. See, that's what I was trying to do, though. I'm gonna try it again. Because I didn't know how to do that. I thought you could just punch them. But you have to use the, the tentacle strike. I always wondered why killers would do that. I thought they were just being funny. Like, if they're friendly, sometimes they'll just punch the zombies when they walk by, like, trying to attack you. Because <laughs> then they'll be like, I got it. You know, like, let me take care of it. But since it's 6,000, I guess I can try it again. No, 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 we'll do that one later. I don't want to be a <laughs> skull merchant, but... I just figured, uh, give me a reason to play as some of the newer killers. Have I even played as Singularity? I don't even know. I honestly don't think so. I might have to do that. Because I've played as Skull Merchant before. I kind of regen them. But they do that to themselves. I wanted that adept that time. And I got it. But I felt bad. I was very mean that game. I played like a sweaty loser. Loki. <laughs> but they made it like that. Because they were all super sweaty. And were all trying to like bully me. And then... They three gen themselves, and then I got them like one by one. <laughs> and it was fun because that was before they uh, like nerfed her. Well, I guess they buffed her, but that was before like they've done they did anything to her. I think so. It was like probably the best time to do it. So like they've already messed with Zeno and. I never did the adept, so that sucks. But maybe we'll try Xeno. 
I really don't want to do Skull Merchant. But I'm just thinking, because I've had this one so long, and it's 6,000, or 60,000, I'm sorry. I don't know math. That I think we should do that one. But that's, you know, I just played as him, so when I play killer, I try to play as different killers each match. That drives me crazy. So... Oh, man. I don't know if I can do that with Xeno. Does the tail count as a weapon? <laughs> Does Victor count as a weapon? <laughs> Is mayonnaise an instrument? Uh, I don't know. I want to play with my friends, but it's like, I know I'll never play killer again if I don't finish them now, so... That's why I'm trying to be a little sweaty just to get him out of the way. So, again, I really, really appreciate everyone that's helped me finish my killer challenges so far. Because even if they're sweaty or annoying or they died or they escaped, I mean, I got my challenges done that match, so I like that. And see, that's what I mean. I would just farm with them, but they don't even give me a chance to show that I want to be friendly because there's too much thing that I just play normal and try to get whatever I can. But then if they, like, go out, I, you know, I'm like, mm, go ahead. Bye. You know? Because I'm Ash for, <laughs> for killer, so it does not matter right now. I think that's the best time to play as either side because you can just have fun and it's not it doesn't count against you but then if you go up or if you do good you can go up but if you don't it's like you don't lose anything and it doesn't take as much to go up but once you get to like iridescent you have to try so hard to not go down that that's when i get stressful and that that's when i wish for like oh can we please just have like a nice killer for once and then they're all super sweaty and aggressive and so that's why i don't like ever being that type of killer when I go into a match because I like loathe those people because it's like dude just calm down for a minute you know because we could just farm but like it seems like when I'm because when I'm survivor I won't do gems if I'm trying to get them to be friendly right so it seems like the match takes forever but when I'm killer they're gen rushing like from the moment they get in you know so it's over so quickly but that's what you should do. Like if you want to be real, just gen rush and get out. But, Cause they could have no ed, so even if you finish the gens and then... But no, so you can... No, it's once the executes are powered. So yeah, pretty much you'd be screwed. But that's why I try to do little like tricks, you know, like where you can go around and... Like if the killer's not playing. You can go around and do every single gen on the map. You don't have to, like, do the five gens and leave, you know? It's like, you could farm, like, <laughs> infinity blood points by, like, looking for every totem, literally doing 99 every gen, and just don't finish it, right? So, I mean, if the killer's hiding or something, or you're not sure if you trust them, but, like, you want to stay, then you wouldn't activate the no ed if you don't finish the gen. So, I mean, technically, like, you and your whole team can go around just doing random stuff, but, you know, 99 all the gems, and then I guess, like, if the killer is moving, then that's when you would want to go finish one, because it'll regress eventually, or they'll damage it, you know, they'll do something to it. But, yeah, I just look at, like, people that gen rush when the killer's, like, obviously not gonna kill them. Like, if the killer's not even moving or something, and they've seen them, like, standing in one place for 20 minutes. It's like, okay, go do, like, open some chests, go do some totem, you know, because that all gives you more points. But don't just, like, because when, when we don't heal, and no one gets hooked, and all you do is gems, I mean, once you get to, like, silver, I mean, that's not enough to go up. Like, your rank can go down in a game like that by just gen rushing and leaving when the killer's not doing anything just because the killer's not doing anything. You know, so it's not even your fault, but... That's why, like, I'll hate when, like, a random or someone just opens the gate 
like when nothing's happening because it's like oh my god like we have all this time that we could and all these things we could get more points for and then we have to like you know <laughs> race around and do whatever we can and get out but it usually isn't enough if you know everyone was like on a different gen and the killer's not moving or like if, you know two people are on two different gen i mean it's just dumb yeah, you can totally screw yourself over sometimes, or the killer can, without even playing. Okay, sorry, I was trying to figure out who do I want to be, what do I want to do. Oh my gosh, see, I don't even have perks except well, well, well. Am I gonna have time for that? It's like, I don't want to wait, but... I like to find them myself. And see, I don't even recognize that one because I don't play a singularity ever or use that bird. Uh, I don't see it. I don't see either of them. I have to see what they look like. That helps me, I think. I have to look at the picture. <laughs> Like, what's the picture look like? But the yellow ones are like hard to see. No, see, that's not even, that looks like the other one to me. What I didn't realize is not it until I clicked on it. Where the hell? Oh, here's one. What's the other one? I guess you can always search for it. I just don't. I was here before that. I don't need that. And see, I don't care about a dip, but it's just like, if it ends up happening, then I can get it done too, at the same time. But I don't care if I get it or not. Oh, see, this seems crazy to me. Like, how do they even code that into the game? Like, how would a survivor that stuns you take damage? That seems like such a weird thing. Like, how is that an add-on? But see, when I equip stuff like this, I won't even do that. I won't even exit a tunnel on crawler mode, and then if I do, it's like, I won't stun anyone. Or they won't stun me. But see that? Let them stun you. Because <laughs> then they think they're smart. And then you're like, surprise! Everyone apparently doesn't like Xeno anymore. Ooh, I've never seen that. Let's try that. Harpoon gun. Huh, okay. I can't really decide between those. I feel like this is good, just... Cause you know how people are with gens, as like we just said. I almost kinda want that new skin. I thought that said mexoskeleton. <laughs> I was like, what? But it's a mesoskeleton. I was like, that's racist. Oh my gosh, why has no one been talking about this? Oh, I think they were on Reddit or something, being gross. But that was the first time I've looked at it. I hope it's never my friends. I've played against my friends, but... Depending on the person... <gasps> oh my god, it is my friend! Oh. Felix is my friend. And I didn't see he was on yet because I've been playing killer since I got on. I went into Survivor for a second, but they were being so dumb. It's the internet or the servers, but it kicked them out and then... Not him, but someone else. And then I... I was like, let me just go finish killer. Okay, he better let me farm. He's not going to know it's me, I don't think, but... 
I'll be nice if you let me hit him 12 times. <laughs> let me hit somebody 12 times. Oh no. And then I would invite him after this, but I still need to do three more hooks. I wonder if you brought that hatch in the main building. Oh, you guys think you're slick, huh? I can't believe that. But you see, my na the names were hidden, right? And I'm like, I hope it's not my friend. And I unhide it, it is my friend. <laughs> That's why I can't believe Gilbert. I think it's funny, though. Because really, you could it could just be like, you know, best man wins. But I feel like people are salty if you kill them. Like, if they're your friend. Like, if you play normally, the I don't, they're usually not happy from what I've learned. But if you're friendly, then they'll like you, but it's like, I don't know. I don't know how to feel. Because as a streamer and a player, you know, I want to play fair, but if they're my friend, I don't want to bully them into, like, not wanting to be my friend. <laughs> you know, so I can't really give advice on that. I guess play normally. It depends on how your relationships with your friends are. But if you know that they won't mind, then yeah, play competitively. But if you're not sure, I guess don't be too mean. Unless you don't care about being friends with them anymore. Because <laughs> some people take it personal. But we'll see how he reacts to me. Normally as killer, I'll just stand there the whole time because I don't care to do anything, but... Like, even more than I do as Survivor, but since I know that he's here, I want to find him first. To see how they're gonna react. And I don't want them to, like, gen rush. I need my 12 hits. But don't be mean to him. Like, if he does something dumb. Because he's cool. He's a good Survivor main. I don't know if he's a Survivor main, but we always play Survivor together and he's good. So he might be someone you want on your team. Okay, I'm gonna try the tail attack. Where the hell'd she go? Oh, she's trying to loop. Smart. Okay, that does not count as a weapon, just saying. Okay, should I just be friendly this game? I want them to know. Oh, see, look, here he goes. You better not try it, buddy. This, do they really think they're doing something? I know they didn't. Like, okay, I'm gonna just hit her again. Because I need my 12 hit. That's why I hate when they let people with flashlights just, um... Or, like, they let people... When they have a flashlight, they just let someone else go down. Because they should just take a hit. Instead of trying to save themselves. But see, I'm trying to be friendly and they're just doing too much. So I guess I'm gonna have to be tough with him. Really, buddy? I thought that breaks salad. Am I tripping or what? I think maybe if you have an add-on or something. Or maybe if they hit it a certain way. See, and I'm giving them a head start. Okay, I want her to understand I'm just trying to get hits. I don't, I'm not gonna like kill her unless she wants me to. Does she see me? Okay, I'm just gonna hit you and then we'll be nice. Please don't DC, I promise I'm being nice. 
Okay, we need to give poor Meg a break. I'm just trying to pick her up because it's like, where are they? What are they doing? So they should be trying to help her instead of letting her get done all that. Oh, I hear him. Where is he? I just want him to see that I can do it. Rebecca's stupid though, where is she? But see, if they don't help him, then I'm gonna be on their ass. Like, everyone helps each other. That's why I may I let you go, but only because I felt mean. Do I have to camp him? I might have to camp him. Oh no. Okay, we need to go after that girl doing the gems. But I just want to get my hits. Oh, he's in the fucking locker. That's so a thing that we do. See, I use head on. That's so funny. He must have got that from me. Boy, if you don't. See, you're doing too much. I wanted to hit him, but... Okay, if you're gonna mess with me... I hope she understands. I'm gonna let her go. Wait, how many times did I hook her? I'm not sure. Gosh, I honestly don't know. I don't want to kill her. Please don't do see, I just want my head. Oh, I guess I could tell if I'm able to kill them. Where's how to make them? No, pick her up, Demi. Where is she? <laughs> He's getting on my nerves. Buddy, you were supposed to pick me up. Oh, he really wants to do that. I can kill him right now. I'm trying to get hit, smartass. kill him just so he could see that I could kill him. I'm trying to 
and go after them and then he wasn't even helping me. <laughs> And what about Kate? I'm looking for Kate, too. See, and that's the pallet she threw down. Karma. but you guys are doing too much. I'm trying to find the other one. Try to get Kate, but she's so sneaky. They keep. Let's see, at least I had a Mori this time. just because they've all been nice. But see, she's really trying to leave me. I'm just trying to get all my hooks. And look how bad I'm lagging suddenly. That's crazy. Like, really? She's only hooked once. Well, they all have two hooks. How lame is that? And then I'm lagging like crazy. She does not deserve to get away. Girl, I'm being nice to you. Oh, and see, I have that when you exit a locker thing. See, then they get cocky thinking, oh yeah, blah, blah. But I just fucking let her go. And then I'm lagging so bad I couldn't even see where she went. And she only has one hook. The rest of them all could get killed right now. And she's the one running for her life. Like, what the fuck? You're done. I should stay over here because that gen was like almost done. She got so fucking lucky. Bitches. Yeah, yeah. Where the fuck is Kate? Was that Rebecca? Yeah, that was. Where's Kate? You see how everyone's here but Kate? That's sus. She's the one I want to get. I 
supposed to do the other gen? Like, there's not gonna be a way to get her. I just want my hooks. How lame is that? Why is she running, like, as if she has two hooks? And I know she doesn't, because I just hooked her once. And that's why I was trying to hook her again, and she keeps running, running, running across the map. When clearly I'm being friendly, since I just did the exact same thing to everybody else, because I'm trying to get all my hooks before the fucking gens are done. If she would have just gave me the hook, I would have just opened the damn gate by now. It's like, what are you doing? See, and then her ass is still sitting on that damn gen, trying to let the other people go. You can let me fucking hook her and then she can go. You see, again, this is where I could get in the dust. But I'm trying to be friendly. Let's see if he'll know who I am. Oh, he just left. <laughs> I think he knows though. He's like, okay, I'm gonna take my win before I get Maury. Damn it, I forgot about that challenge. I was only thinking about the... But see, you can do this whenever, right? So, I mean, you can always come back. But there's only two days or whatever left for these killer challenges. So, that's why I'm trying to do those now. But that's just funny, because I could have done the tail attack with them. once, At least once they knew I was friendly, but... That's okay. 
I'm glad I let them go, though. I would feel too mean not. I know I was, like, a little extreme with it, but that's why I just opened the gate. Like, just go. Because I wanted them to go. I just wanted my other hook. Because I couldn't tell who had been hooked. Like, I was scared I was going to kill Meg. And then I was like, wait, I have the Mori, you know? So then once I saw on my friend that I could Mori him, I was like, oh, I'll do you. So you can use that to kind of tell, too. Like, if you don't want to use it to actually be mean to them, then you can use it to see if they're about to die. Because once you get to the second hook state, whether or not someone left you, But at least that way you can tell who's been hooked twice. So then once I saw that she, like, when I tried to pick her up, it didn't say I could kill her as opposed to my friend. It was saying I could kill him, you know. And I hope he realizes that. I had a funny killer the other day who kept trying, like, starting the Mori, but since I kept... Cause he did it by the exit, so I kept trying to crawl, and I was saying, no, 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 and I kept crawling, so somehow it kept canceling it. But I didn't know that happens, because sometimes I try to do that, and it still happens. So I don't know if he, maybe it's him letting go of it when he starts it, too. But I didn't want to, like, start it and not be able to stop it. <laughs> but I wanted to start it almost just so he could see that I could have, you know? Like, make him feel scared for a second. Because I don't know if they, you know, because not everyone looks at the offerings and stuff, so they might not even know that I had it. They don't, usually you won't even notice that the killer has it until someone else dies, you know. So that would have been when they would know that I had it. But see, that's what I was saying too. I didn't even use the tunnels. That's what I'm saying. Like, I act so tunnel vision sometimes with the killers, like... Dredge. I know how to teleport through the lockers. I just didn't. I don't know why. And then I had a locker add on, and I never even went in a locker. And then with the uh, Nemesis, his perks were better, but I don't know. It's just funny. But I was forgetting to do the hitting the zombies with the tentacle strike, so I could have did the mutation rate. Max, like that match. Then this match, I forgot <laughs> to use the tunnels. But like, I don't know. Sometimes I think those things slow you down. Those, you know, teleporting, whatever. Because, like, they were all around me. I just couldn't find them. But then, like, if I would have went to a completely, end. but this was good because I could tell when they kept going back to that gem because it looked different. So that was helpful. But yeah, I don't know if it's always best to use those things unless you're really unsure where they are or like if they do something that tells you they're like on the other side of the map. Because they always seem to be right around me because I think they think I'm like a dumb killer or like a baby killer. I'm just being like kind of friendly and kind of not. So I go like back and forth, which is kind of annoying. I hate when killers do that, but that's how I have to play with the way that they play. You know, I'll match the way they play, but if they're gen rushing, you kind of have to play like that to like finish everything. Cause they're not thinking you have challenges or anything you're trying to do. You know, they're just trying to do theirs. And so, I did it, but it's only because I have to keep going and looking for them. If you played it, you know, like if I would have just killed them, you know, the other people would just escape sooner without even trying to help them. Oh, why did I keep doing that? So I just redeemed it. I like redeeming it, but... I have max blood points, so I'm like losing blood points every time that I do this. But I want to get this. So we got this. So this is the last item from the Haunted by Daylight event that I didn't have. Well, no, there's one more thing, but I think you unlock it once you do all the challenges. But that's why you have to actually play as killer and survivor. 
to kind of, at least for the event. So, you I mean you still have two days, I just want to get it out of the way. Let's see, so like, this whole one is done. So I will probably play Survivor after this. I just know when, once I start playing Survivor, I'll play Survivor the whole time. And so, I'm probably not gonna play as a killer if I don't do it now. So, you know, I feel bad, like, matching with my friend. At least my friend got to be in my match, because I should be playing Survivor right now. And I hope he didn't think that was too mean. Just trying to get points. I mean, as long as you get away, like, you should get a decent amount of points. Like, for him, he probably did better than me, and I'm only Ash 4. Like, he probably got a plus 2 for that one. Oh, that's kind of funny. Why is there so many for dredge though? Like, that's cool for dredge mains, but they put in like 10 things for dredge. There's some killers that don't have anything. Like, slow down. I don't know which one to do for this last one though. I guess we're gonna do Skull Merchant. Just cause she's the only one I haven't played as that I have a challenge for. But we can do these another day. If I could actually do that challenge, then... I can maybe get a survivor challenge, but... That seems hard to do. I mean, maybe it's easier now than it used to be, but... Because of the way the cloud trap works now. Is this the only one she has? I guess this is the only one I have for her. Alright. Well, I already got a debt for her, so... I'm pretty sure. I think I'd platinum this DLC somehow. <laughs> Even though I don't really like it that much. Yes, I have platinum ah! it. So, I did not have any trophies to do for that. So, she could have whatever perks. Uh, I like the Hex perks. I don't know about Devour Hope, though. Maybe if I don't have no ad. I do, though. I just think that one's better just because it's because I think Devour Hope spawns in the map right but it sounds like from this so there was one game there's a challenge actually for Survivor where you have to cleanse all the totems on the map and escape right and people will give me shit about cleansing totems I used to give people shit about cleansing totems but now I understand especially if you have inner healing it's perfect but yeah i understand if you have a boon perk or something but if you have a boon perk get to the totem before i do or it's gone that's how i see it because if you didn't find it for like because i'll be cleansing it like almost done and then someone will run up on me and like tell me to like let go of it and it's like and then get mad if i don't and it's like no nah, i found it first like what the hell because if i let go i mean yeah she can bless it but most of the time, the killer puts it out, we don't even get to use it. Because we get chased out of the area, and then you don't get points. Like, you'll get points for the blessing, but you get points towards your emblems for cleansing it, you know, because that's part of the objective. So it's like, if I'm cleansing for some reason instead of on a jam, and trying to get my perks, like, inner healing, I'm not going to let go of it, just so you can bless it when... Unless I'm max rank, then yeah, you can have it. But like, if I was still trying to rank up, I'm not gonna let go of it, like, to let you bless it. If you want to bless it, run perks where you can find them first, if you really want your boons, or find enough, you know, because there, there's probably like 8 or 10 on the map. But what I was trying to say too is though, so one time I actually, we actually somehow cleansed all the totems on the map. And escaped. And so that was perfect, because I thought it was going to take me longer to do that challenge. 
and you don't know that it's done until you escape. So I was shocked when, because it was actually glitched at one point where like you would just escape and it would show that you did it, but then once you got back, it would like restart. But then at one point I, we actually did it, I guess, because it said I had completed it. And so that was probably, that's probably the hardest challenge I think you can do. But my point with that was that, so like, I think know it is better because it sounds like it just will apply to whatever dual totems are left. And almost every time, based off that challenge, at least for me, we would leave so many, I mean, because I just know there was at least one, but we would leave at least one totem every time. Right, because there's no way to get to all the totems unless the killer's not playing. Because usually they'll interrupt you while you're cleansing it, or someone else gets to it, but then, you know, like, they'll be in places where everything's at, so. I just think it's better to use Noed or between, you know, if you have to choose between that or Devour it, because it will apply to the door totem once the gates are powered, you know, so that's when you have, like, sweaty feet, right? Devour hope, like, because people get mad when they cleanse their devour hope early, and that sucks. But sometimes, like, I just spawned right next to it. Like, I literally had no idea it was there, but I see it, and I just go for it, you know, because it's shiny, it's in my face, it's points, you know, like, but then they'll, like, DC as soon as that happens. But it's like, how can you be surprised? Because it spawns in with people, you know, so, like, if they come across it, it's it. There's nothing that's gonna stop them unless you're camping. But with no way, you know, it, it doesn't give them so much of a chance. Cause it, it'll just be a dull totem while, you know, the game's going on. But then as, and I'm sorry, cause people probably, probably says I'm in the lobby. So people are probably trying to invite me, but I'd rather play like Lampkin, but I don't have one. So I just want to play a map that's not like boring. And that would suck if we were gonna get had until next game, but I just hate some of these maps. So like when I play as killer and I'm not, you know, cause it's different when you play a survivor, like you're scared cause you don't know what the, how the killer's gonna be. But I am the killer. So it's like, I want a fun map <laughs> because there's nothing scary about it. Cause I'm the killer. But I guess it makes it less scary for the survivors. <laughs> Maybe they want a scary map. But I'd rather do a fun one. And then I can show them how to get on the table. <laughs> that would be fun. Huh. I don't want to decrease the claw trap life. That doesn't seem like that would help me. Yes. Do that one. They're going to be like... This dude's hacking. Yeah. Ooh, maybe I'll do that one. That's kind of funny though. That's probably how she sneaks up on me. Like, why would the drone get a terror idea? I kind of want to do stuff around the claw trap. Yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah, that happened to me. When I, I saw when I... I wasn't getting a skill check with this shotgun speaker. And I was like, what the hell is that? Oh my goodness, I have a lot of claw trap things. I can't decide what I want to use. Oh shoot, I need to get my other perk. Okay, hopefully I can at least get three hooks and then... Then I'll try to be nice. I've been mostly nice, right? Like, people have gotten away every game. Not the poor Nicolas Cage and Ellen. Because their teammates were lame. That wasn't me. 
Oh, and not the other poor Nicholas Cage, but... I don't know. He just looked like he wanted me to. I just thought, why not? I really shouldn't have, though. I didn't have to. I don't need any challenges for that. I feel kind of mean. But at least it's kind of cool, right? And I just feel like sometimes as a killer, like, I have to play sort of fair. Like, you know, if someone can be married and they're right in front of me, like... Sometimes I feel like you should just do it. I mean, this is part of the game. They shouldn't get themselves to the point where they can be married, you know? But... Because that's what gives you that ability, but... I still feel bad. Like, that just happened to me <laughs> yesterday. But that's why it's like, well, <laughs> I guess I'll do it. Because I knew that other people would get away, even if I didn't want them to, because, you know, they're just sweaty. Because I want them to get away, but I'm trying to let them think it's their idea, right? So it's like, they think they're getting away. But I'm not really trying to kill them in the first place. But the, yeah, the Nicolas Cage, oh, I just feel bad. I love Nicolas Cage. And so anyone who plays as him, they're just usually silly and they're trying to be funny. I hate to do that to the poor guy. But at least it's fun to watch. Gives us something to look at. But yeah, shout out to Sneebel. I think that was his name. Very fun guy. <laughs> Go add Sneebel, guys. Or just tell him that he's cool. But be nice.
I'm just trying to be silly. <laughs> I mean, I don't need hooks anymore, but... I don't like her hiding. Because I was just looking for her. Like, I love when I watch them all run away. And then the one person that, like, hasn't been hooked thinks that, like, I'm going to chase the other people. Like, no, I'm going to chase you. Because you're the only person that hasn't been hooked. Everyone needs to get hooked. If you guys want to get away.
I mean, that's just fair. Like, don't be selfish. There's no don't get hooked challenge that I know of. So I don't know why they'd be acting like that. But see, now I don't know. Did I bring a Mori? Oh, I didn't. I don't know who's about to die. So I guess we'll let them all live. Yeah. Like, I won't even hook them anymore. Because I've lost track. Especially with two of them being the same character. Okay, I'll hook her again because I know I haven't hooked her twice. <laughs> but if someone else gets away, good on them. She's so dumb. I really could have hit her already. Like she's gonna get a claw trap, isn't she? Isn't that how that works? But she already has one. Why does it not make her broken? Oh no, I think that's when you try to disable. I'm still trying to figure out how this, how our power works now. Girl, I would not do that. Let's see, why do they try to protect their teammate who has one hook. Like, just let her get hooked. My one left her. She wasn't the one trying to save her. Oh, see, and then I can see them. I don't see Jane. Look at Jane. Taking this drone back. Ah! Now where the hell is Jane? Let's see. I want to just pick him up now and go to the thing. Why did they not trust me? I mean, there are only two gems. Regen themselves. That means we only have one more left. Ah! Oh, she's annoying. Me. Really, do. Is it broken or? Yeah. I just don't like them trying to gen rush like in my face. Can you not? I'm trying to find fucking Jane. And then they let her go and she has one hook. Yeah. How do the things not even detect that? That's what I thought I was preventing. Yeah, I guess I still need to figure out how this shit works. There she is. Again, like I can see her. Ah! Dumbass. 
just hate when they try to do that. But she could be, that's what I'm saying, like, we get frustrated as killers, but maybe she's just trying to, like, impress us, you know? Like, she thinks she's being cool, but I don't know.
Ah. <sighs> 